Hello students, welcome to Gyanviar School of Education. I'm Dr. Sonia Kaur Bansal and today I will be teaching you role of a teacher in teaching learning process in the subject pedagogy of a school subject English. So students, let's start learning and today's learning objective will be, would be related to understanding of role of teacher in various responsibilities and functions how a teacher plays an important role. So uh, try to understand uh, students and I hope all of you will listen attentively and grasp uh, the concept in a very clear way. So let's start students. So students, uh, first of all, in an introduction, I would like to say the teacher is the one who plans the learning process. Actually students, it has to be understood that teacher is someone who has changed his or her role in the due course of time. So when we are talking about teachers, so teacher is something that uh, used to be very simple before. But nowadays, a teacher uh, is something else. So a teacher in the past time when we are talking about, the so teacher was seen as a lecturer or someone who delivered knowledge unconducted test. A teacher was uh, really perceived as someone who had answers to every question possible. He used to be considered as a gatekeeper of all the resources and information too. But a decade ago, the teacher's responsibilities have changed a lot. So teachers were responsible, responsible earlier for delivering the information but that was all before the introduction of internet and digital media. So information is now easy to access for many students. And the ocean of data is before us with just a few key strokes away. So now the question is, what would be the role of a teacher if they are no longer the source of gatekeeper or information? So this is really very important to understand, to figure out the role of a teacher. So let's understand in a very detailed process that what is the role of a teacher and the teacher is the one who plans the learning process. Teacher manages partner in his educational work and in some time valuable for skills and knowledgeable for students. The teacher education work is based on sincerity, passion, love to students, but also in practice the profession. So teaching is the distinctively human activity. It is important to understand that that one person is delivering the inform information to another person. So this is entirely a human activity. It is not like that something is missing here. It is like that something is being dealt with within the human beings. So it has to be really in consideration that how the teacher imparts the knowledge and the in the learning process the by means uh, which the student assimilates share of it. So it is also uh, concerned with growth and development of whole personality of the student, her mind, spirit, character and effective behavior. So it's really important to understand the teacher's role in teaching learning process. So in teaching and learning work, the teacher has a rather very important role in creating the sciences that are taught to be accepted by existing students. So not only does it play a role in educating the sciences, but there also is not a little role for the teacher in the teaching learning process. Teacher is the one who is giving the information to the students. So when it comes to the part of teacher, teacher has a very significant role. So whatever will be accepted by the student, it has to be created in such a scientific way 
that is not only giving the correct information but also it is useful for the society also so that's why teachers role is really very important so we have seen that education has changed a lot in recent times and especially when we are talking about pandemic situation so the whole education industry has changed its whole scenario moreover it is more interactive now earlier it used to be in ancient times it used to be a teacher center but now it is not like that it is now it has now become student center so it's more interactive now with the intrusion of digital media as well the new age technology like artificial intelligence augmented reality are opening a new dimension in education but students there is a large role that the teacher has to play here they are no more seen as the only keeper of information now information is already shared and students have chewed them and digested them so what is left now if the information is already available to them but teacher has its own important role so let's understand it in a defining way also so there is a definition a teacher is a person who selects and organizes teaching learning methods consciously planning and controlling a situation directed to the achievement of optimum student learning yes here we talk about the optimum student learning and it, it is only possible when the teacher is carefully selecting and organizing the teaching learning material methods and the teacher is carefully planning and controlling the situation in which the learner will be taught so everything is up to the teacher how the teacher is controlling the classroom situation how the teacher is adopting new methods new ways of teaching so everything is up to the teacher so we cannot deny the role of the teacher in teaching learning process so students by learning you will teach by teaching you will learn this is a latin proverb and it's really very important i repeat by learning you will teach by teaching you will learn so it is uh, as well important for the teachers to keep learning all the time now let's have a look on the characteristics of a teacher one by one and we are going to discuss them in detail first of all a teacher must have thorough knowledge of her subject matter yes it's a really very important thing for any teacher whatever the subject is teacher teaching teacher must be very thorough with the content of the subject because the students feel that the teacher is ideal and whatever the teacher is telling them is supposed to be correct so if the teacher is teaching them so there may be many curiosities there may be many questions so the teacher has to have a full command over the subject matter so that he or she is answerable to the students at any time and moreover it increases the personal efficiency of the teacher also if the teacher is well versed with the content of his own subject so it's really very important to be thorough with the knowledge of our subject matter second characteristic that is related to the teachers uh, that is excellent speech yes dear students it is very important to be expressive for the teacher just imagine students the teacher is not able to uh, deliver a proper speech proper lecture in the classroom would you really imagine to study uh, from that teacher of course not so excellent speech is something which actually affects the mind of the learner and whatever you intend to tell them they are ready to accept they are actually thinking what you are going to deliver them so your speech your tone your confidence really matters a lot in the classroom when you will be teaching in the classroom 
so excellent speech is a very fine characteristic of a teacher the teacher must use the words in a very nice way then neatness and poise yes untidy teacher is not liked by any of us so neatness is something that is grooming the personality so teacher must be very presentable in the classroom because if the teacher is not following such small things the students will be really distracted and whatever the content you are teaching maybe you are thorough with your knowledge but you are not presentable you are not neat and clean in your presentation so that will actually create a hinder in your uh, teaching learning process next thing uh, that's really very important sense of humor when the teacher is teaching in a continuous lecture method so sometimes it happens that uh, students are feeling boredom due to monotonous uh, style of lecture method but in between if the teacher is expressing some uh, humorous part so that's really very appreciated because it it's it keeps refreshing students mind as well as teachers mind so sense of humor is really required from a teacher so next is broad interest the first and foremost thing about a teacher that is really very important that is interest interest in teaching you cannot imagine a teacher students who is not at all interested in teaching work so great characteristic lies down in this point that teacher must be interested in teaching interested in the subject whatever the teacher is teaching so there should be a proper balance in that so teacher must have the interest in students she or he must feel belongingness with the students so teacher must develop this interest now well balanced personality yes of course teachers must possess well balanced personality teachers must know how to control the emotions how to control the situations how to handle the different types of students different iq students you have to handle the intelligent students brilliant students extraordinary students and on the same way you have to handle the average students slow learners or low iq students also so in that way a well, well balanced personality is something that is required so a uh, teacher should not be very much extrovert or not very introvert in nature so its ambivert type is really appreciated next point is about professional well groomed when the teaching profession is imagined so it is thought that writing on the board giving the task to the students and that's the task of teacher no it's not like that my dear students nowadays teaching profession has come up to various changes and professionally well grown teachers are really required nowadays to meet up the current challenges so if you are well versed with new technologies new faculty development programs which are going on in current situations so you are well grown teacher and it's really very required from the part of the teacher the next important characteristic is about tolerant and fair without partiality it is really very important to understand each and every student in your classroom if you are tolerant enough if you are fair enough then your students are really going to respect you and they will be learning from you what you want to teach them so tolerant and fair are the characteristics which is very important from the point of view of teachers when the students feel that teacher is biased or somehow the teacher is not giving me marks for and teacher is just favoring another students in that condition 
the student loses its interest in learning so that's not good for a teacher also so be away from partiality and always be tolerant and fair towards the students so that's a characteristic of a good teacher then another important thing that must be possessed by the teacher that is kind and patient behavior in the classroom teacher has to deal with many students and many students are are having individual differences and the teacher is the one who is caring and taking responsibilities of all the teachers so the teacher should be tolerant as well as kind and patient enough to deal with all the students so it's really very important the next thing is about clear exposition of subject matter whatever the subject teacher is teaching it must have clear exposition that means it should be detailed exposed to the teacher each and every point must be sought through in a very detailed manner reference books must be seen any important source of information must be collected so this is how the teacher is going to teach in a brilliant way in the classroom if the teacher is having clear exposition of the subject matter the next thing is about ever loving nature yes it's about ever loving nature if the teacher is loving the nature teacher is definitely going to teach the students in a loving way so nature lover teacher is really appreciated there are many topics when the teacher is uh, teaching in the real environment also so when the teacher is respecting loving the nature the same values the teacher is going to inculcate among the students as well so it's really very important then good communicator whatever you want to tell your students you must communicate it in a very proper way without any confusion without any misunderstandings so it should be cleared from the point of view of teacher assignments must be clear projects must be clear explanation must be clear so this is how it is very important keen observer supporter and listener yes a good teacher must be keen observer because observation will lead to the solution of many indirect problems so if the teacher is a good observer then the teacher is definitely going to solve the minute classroom problems as well and the supporter for the students and listener as well what the students are going to tell you you must listen it properly then leadership ability as well as a deeper knowledge yes the teacher does the work of a leader of the students in the classroom so the teacher must possess that ability teacher must follow the planning organizing leading controlling factor in the classroom so that he or she can well control the class in our effective leadership that interest in students this is really very important point that if a teacher is having interest in his or her students then half of the battle is win because whatever the content the teacher is supposed to teach to the students and if the teacher is not interested in students uh, likes dislikes and nature individual differences so it is really going to create a little difficulty or maybe it is uh, very difficult for the teacher any teacher to deliver the content in the classroom so these are the important characteristics of a teacher that i have told you just now students so take care of them in your uh, uh, career as well when you will be becoming teacher now let's discuss about roles of a teacher so we are going to discuss the roles of teachers in three important ways first of all instructional role secondly faculty role then individual role so instructional faculty and individual roles are different roles which are actually accomplished by a teacher so let's them let's have a look on them one by one first of all instructional role so 
in instructional role as its name is suggesting you have to do something related to the instructions so instructions will be given or planned in or organizing the courses then it can be also done creating and maintain a desirable group which will encourage and enhance learning and it will lead to the development of learner self discipline so this is really very important from instructional point of view and as well adapt teaching and preparing the instructional materials to the varying interest needs and abilities of the students as a teacher you must know that there are various type of uh, students in your classroom so whatever the instructional materials you are using teaching materials you are using must be meet out with the interest needs and abilities mental level of the students it should not go beyond that then next is motivating the challenging students to pursue and to sustain learning activities it's really a very difficult one who are the challenging students and you have to teach them with other students as well and it will lead them towards acceptance of responsibility of their own learning so it's a teacher's task that the teacher is making them acceptable for the responsibilities of their own learning so this is how it is really very important now let's discuss students about faculty role what is faculty role and what how it is done so we are going to understand it in a very brief way so faculty's role is something that is the role of faculty very according to philosophy objectives and settings of teaching institutions so this is very important students from uh, the point of view the role of faculty very according to the philosophy which set and objectives and setting of the any teaching institution so chairperson secretary or member or one or more committees counselor of students in matters researchers re resource person to group outside in the institution health agencies and other schools so these are something that done by the faculties so in their own philosophy now let's discuss about individual role that plays a important personal role as a member of the family a community and a citizen dignified and distinct personality so in it in an individual role teacher plays an important role also so this is how teacher's role is elaborated in a very uh, clear way student contact medical expertise student at a distance teachers expertise so teacher is working as a facilitator role model information provider resource developer planner assessor so how the teacher role is defined as a facilitator that teacher is working as a mentor and learning facilitator then role model on the job role model as a working as a teacher teaching role model then information provided by giving lectures or any uh, practical information so resource developer he is working as a study guide producer resource material creator also so this is how teacher is working in different roles and planner the teacher is planning the curriculum and the course and then assessor teacher is assessing students as well as curriculum so this is how teacher's role is defined in various roles and activities so let's understand students one by one and in more detail now we are going to discuss about professional responsibilities of any teacher so the following statement of professional responsibilities must be adhered to by all teachers in carrying out their duties and responsibilities all teachers must be conscious of their special duty of care to the students of the public education system 
in all educational activities in and out of school and teacher must really demonstrate the highest standards of professional behavior exercise professional judgment and act in a courteous and sensitive manner when interacting with students parents and caregivers staff and the public so this is how professional responsibilities are also taken up by a teacher and teacher does it in a beautiful way and the teacher performs the special duty for the students welfare all the time teachers also collaborate in the development of school plans policies and programs devise and document teaching and learning programs and develop and implement appropriate evaluation mechanism so this is how teacher is planning in a professional way also then teacher must treat students equitably including those with disabilities in the classroom or other special needs and teacher must meet the individual learning needs of the students and assist each student to maximize his or her learning outcomes in the classroom so it's really effectively manageable and implement programs for child protection and student welfare that's really very much needed for the teacher's point of view then teacher must undertake appropriate ongoing professional development to promote competence in curriculum development delivery and evaluation classroom management and teaching skills it's really very important students that teacher must go through professional development all the time and teacher must not stagnant with the knowledge and exposure at one place at one time so it's an ongoing process and moreover the teacher actually does the professional development to promote his or her own competency in the subject matter or in the process of curriculum development or how it is going to be delivered in the classroom or in the activities or in any kind of uh, information that we are going to deliver to the students and in addition it is also helpful if the teacher is taking care of professional competencies it will helpful uh, in evaluating the students and it will also be helpful in management of the classroom situations and it will actually enhance the teaching skills of the teachers so professional responsibilities are really a lot from the point of view of teacher then next thing is about comply with legislative and industrial requirements and the department's code of conduct policies including the use of employer communication devices and procedures so this is how responsibilities of the teachers are really very high and teacher must possess it in a very sincere way and professional way now it is also expected from a teacher in uh, to have the professional responsibilities and to carry out this teacher has to be familiar with the provision of legislation relevant to their official responsibilities as well teacher must comply with reasonable direction given by a supervisor or principal and adhere to official guidelines concerning the performance of their duties so it must be done by the teachers then teacher must also implement the priorities of the department whatever the priorities are there teacher must go in that way only and the school and the ensure their professional actions reflect government and departmental policies whatever the set norms are there according to government or according to own private institutions teacher must go accordingly and accordingly the teacher must give the knowledge to the students in a best possible way 
so to just uh, make it out possible be fair in exercising the delegating responsibilities and promote professional personal development of staff so personal grooming is needed and as well development of staff is needed time to time because we all know teaching learning process is a continuous process and where there is learning there is definitely a teaching also few things are learned by the pupil by them own but when the teacher is teaching and if it is really desire to be converted into learning then teacher must be well up to date exposed with the new content new updation in the content so professional development must be done time to time then teacher must perform their duties efficiently and effectively that must cover the important uh, values that are honesty integrity and fairness at all times so this is really desired from a teacher to be honest in his uh, teaching as well as classroom managing system and then evaluation process because these are the things students that students as well as parents and management expects from a te good teacher to be honest integrate and to possess fairness for all the students at all time i hope you have understood this much so i'm proceeding further and then teacher must ensure that decisions are made fairly and conveyed promptly both with the department and to those students and members of the public who have a right to know about the current thing so use information gained in the course of employment only for proper and appropriate purposes as well teacher must use public resources economically the teacher must not be extravagant as i have told you the characteristic of a teacher that teacher must be nature lover so if it is in the case of using pages so teacher is understanding that how the pages are got by cutting the trees so anything that teacher is doing must be done in a very thoughtful process whatever the things are being used and if it is related to public resources that must also be used in a wise way now students let's understand the functions of a teacher and i hope you are really going to enjoy listening to the functions of teacher first of all the important function of a teacher that is explaining and informing this is very very important function of any teacher without this we cannot imagine a teacher if the teacher is not explaining and not informing anything you then do you really think that we can call that particular person a teacher so if the good teacher is expected to be well informed in the areas in which he or she teaches so the teacher is expected to be able to communicate information needed for background enrichment and motivation and on many occasions to explain relationship of children so teacher must actually possess these qualities must be possessing very excellent speech how to explain any content teacher must actually pre plan it how the teacher is going to inform the students about a particular uh, message or a content anything so teacher must do it then second thing initiating directing and administering and administering so one of the most important functions of teaching is concerned with initiating teacher must be proactive in doing some things because teacher is full responsible of the uh, responsibilities of the students that he or she is teaching 
and teacher is really concerned with initiating organizing and directing and making decisions on in uh, either it is in the classroom playground assembly hall or anywhere in the school college or secondary education higher secondary education at any level these are the qualities or the functions of the teacher that really must be possessed from morning till evening the teacher faces and handles many problems many students are approaching to the teacher and they are telling the teacher about various difficulties and if the teacher is not of uh, this nature that teacher doesn't initiate or direct or administer on anything then definitely the students are facing lot of problem so if the teacher is actually willing to solve the problems from morning to evening then it is required to be initiative direction directive and administration also in the nature so these are the important thing explaining and informing secondly initiating directing and administrating now next is unifying the group how unifying the group so in the beginning of a session a teacher is confronted with a number of children who are not unified as i have told you students that they possess the individual differences but when you are teaching them you have to establish something on a very clear platform that you are teaching them so as they live together they become a unified group and how it is possible how you are creating some group of students in a unifying group so you are putting them in a one classroom one section and you are applying some set rules uniforms and anything else which is required from your content also the same thing they are learning so this is an important task to develop a group spirit within the group so this is how the teacher's function becomes more important the teacher is actually whole and soul responsible in the classroom to develop the group feeling not the alone feeling and if the students are learning something in group if they are doing something in a group then definitely students believe me that their learnings will be excellent and the teachers hard work will also be paid so unifying the group is really very important from the point of view of teachers functions next is students giving security yes it is always said that school is the home away from home and a mother is found or a mother instinct is found from the school when a parent is actually dropping a toddler in the school the parent is expecting that my sort sort of caring and secure atmosphere will be provided to my child in the school also and here the teachers function and responsibility becomes very important because many children are in need of warmth recognition praise and friendly atmosphere students really learn well if they are kept in warm atmosphere friendly atmosphere so there are children who feel a sense of loneliness isolation rejection and economic insecurities at home or maybe in the a little less amount in school also but the teacher should identify the needs of students it is the charismatic effect of teacher that any student overcomes his or her insecurities and start doing the best in his studies so giving security becomes a very important task of the teacher in the classroom so a good teacher must identify the needs of the students and must work accordingly all right students now fifth important function that we are going to understand that is about clarifying attitude 
belief and problems so how it is going to work many students are confused by social influences and looking at so many different ways of living on tv radio movie and reading materials etc which introduce new and unusual ideas so the teacher should clarify the doubts and creates opportunities for children to state their attitudes interest and problems so to talk about their purposes and interest and aspirations so this is how it is working so teacher must clarify attitude of the students beliefs and problems of the students so must have this type of attitude so teachers should clarify the doubts of the students whatever they are having there are many students who are actually hesitant in asking their doubts in asking their queries to the teacher due to their introvert nature or maybe their personality is like that but a good teacher must create opportunities in the classroom so that students can be very comfortable in asking anything from the teacher related to the content and teacher must actually develop the interest among the students to study that particular content so teacher must talk about the purpose of teaching and why the the students have to build up their interest and aspiration that must be clarified by the teacher in the beginning of the content only then the teaching learning process will be very effective and it will be efficient from the part of teacher all right students now next is diagnosing learning problems it is not like that students that the teacher is going to teach and his or her work is finished maybe there are some children in every class who do not make expected progress in their studies growth and development what we expect from them to show so a good teacher must diagnose the learning problems of individual students and not only diagnosing is enough the teacher must also suggest the possible solutions of overcoming those problems and these all activities are done these all process is done by the teacher just for the sake of giving good learning environment give uh, or enhancing their learning capacities to learn any content or any subject matter so this is really very really important function of a teacher now students next is about making curriculum material so curriculum plays an important role students it plays an important role in the course the teacher should modify the curriculum in accordance with the need of group and the local community so it should be constructed by keeping the needs of the local community and contemporary situations only then it will be more beneficial for the students as well as society's point of view now next is about evaluating recording and reporting yes it's an important task the teacher has to evaluate the progress of the class as a whole and individual students and for this the teacher is going to take many test maybe it is in written form or oral form and the teacher is definitely going to take some periodical examination like term exams semester exams so the teacher has to prepare a detailed report cumulative report of students progress and individual report as well teacher must grade students behavior record students behavior and must give proper suggestions and reportings to the students principals as well as parents so this is really very time taking tedious attentive work that is done by the teacher now arranging and organizing classroom yes it is really very uh, skillful task that is done by the teacher so it is important responsibility of a teacher to make a classroom a beautiful place for learning it must be hygienic 
fully ventilated and sitting arrangement should be very flexible and should be changed so it should be changed the classroom environment must also be changed by maybe by decorating the boards or maybe decorating the walls according to the different occasions so it should be appealing to the students that students must feel craving of going to the classroom and studying there all right students now next is participating in the school activities so the teacher should participate in other school activities in addition to his routines teaching assignment these may include picnics games organizing some shows etc so not only teaching is sufficient organizing activities is as well very important from the part of teacher then participating in professional life every teacher is expected to enter wholly into professional life and to make his contribution to the improvement of the profession this is how teacher must develop his or her own professional life also so in the summary form students we have learned today how is teacher very important significant in today's era where the artificial intelligence is more and more in need we have studied about the definition of teacher characteristics of teacher roles of a teacher and professional responsibilities we have seen and along with this we have seen the functions of a teacher and i hope you have really understood about them in a detailed way and i really hope that these important things what i have taught you today you will include in your teaching learning process as well so now it's quiz time and let's uh, see some questions here so first question is about you want to ensure participation of more students in class which of the following method of teaching would you adopt demonstration discussion recitation or role play so the correct answer is discussion all right students second question to make learning effective a goal must be meaningful in terms so objective of the curriculum intellectual ideas standards of others the need and purposes of students so the correct answer is students need and purposes the next question is which of the following items of information are important about students to motivate them for studies learning style personality socio cultural background all of the above so the correct answer is all of the above because the learning styles in education are the systematic differences in individuals natural or habitual patterns of acquiring and processing information in learning situations so openness carefulness agreeableness are some of the personality traits here the next question is about dash is the process in which you identify the common aspects or basic relationship in a variety of specific solutions or situations so that is abstraction generalization problem solving or reasoning so the correct answer is generalization so generalization of a concept is an extension of the concept to less specific criteria it is foundational element of logic and human reasoning so students this was all about the role of teaching learning process now these are some references students that you can go through later on when you uh, listen my video so you will enhance your learning in a more careful way so students i hope you have understood the concept of role of teaching teacher in a teacher teaching learning process and i really believe that all of you will include such important things which is really important from the point of view of a teacher in your teaching learning process 
So we have come to the end of the class and I really hope that you have enjoyed a lot through this video. So see you in the next class students. So till then, uh, stay safe, stay healthy and stay, keep learning. Thank you students.